Seven of the deaths were ruled undetermined by the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology's medical examiner. One is attributed to sudden infant death syndrome, and two are still under investigation. The Armed Forces Institute of Pathology has conducted all of the autopsies. We are very concerned about this and have taken and will continue to take active measures to determine if there are any possible links between the causes of death. Two undetermined deaths from one address and a third associated death, as I mentioned earlier, is really why we are here today. I can assure you our United States Army Criminal Investigation Command has been actively pursuing this issue. In concert with CID, other agencies have been asked to join the investigation at various stages to delve into possible environmental, structural, or hazardous material as a cause for these undetermined infant deaths. I tell you, it's, it's it, a, a variance of neighborhoods. It's not in one specific neighborhood. And because at this point we don't have any concrete information or evidence that any of these deaths are linked in any manner whatsoever, we're not going to alarm the public by putting out specific neighborhoods. Um, we're taking a broad brush look at all these deaths, all the neighborhoods involved. But, but I will tell you that they represent neighborhoods all over Post. They represent new construction, old construction, renovation. Uh, and so it's not limited to one type of structure. Uh, it represents really uh, all of the different types of family housing that we have at Fort Bragg. Uh, the Army CID has found no concrete information or evidence at this point that could be a, a causal linkage in any of these deaths. Um, and, and it's important to point out also in all 10 deaths, even though two deaths are still under investigation, there was no obvious signs of foul play in any of these deaths. And we're considering all types of environmental structural um, uh, factors, just to be, just to be clear and, and make sure that we've covered all the bases. What got my attention was the fact that in one house, we had multiple deaths associated with one set of quarters. That we have not been able to answer, and that is really the focus of our investigation.